to Silly Girl. My name is Rob Boy. In this episode, I'm going to do blackened fish, right? So I have some nice white fish. This is a drum fish here in uh, South Carolina, uh, or tile fish, whatever you want to call it. It's very good. It's a white fish. You can use any kind of fish. You can use whichever cod or, or halibut or grouper, anything will work for this. But there's lots of recipes on the internet to, to do this, and it's real simple. But I just want to show you, I have some melted butter right here, about two tablespoons or so, or maybe three. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, baste these with butter. You know what I could also do, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to do this, is just put it in the butter just like that. You want to coat them really nice. You know, I already put some butter on there. Uh, want to use that. Oh, that's going to be nice butter all the way around it because that's going to give us our nice sear when we get into the grill. So I'll go ahead and finish buttering these up. And this little leftover of butter, I'll probably put it inside the uh, iron skillet out on the grill. So I have the butter ready to go. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to use uh, uh, the Blackening Redfish by uh, Chef Paul Pernod. Uh, this is really good. And, uh, I have some other friends that like to use this, and I've used it. There's Zatarins. You can make your own uh, uh, blackening seasoning. It's really easy to do. There's tons of recipes on the internet. I like to coat it pretty heavy because I like a little kick to it. Uh, the more you put on, the little spicier it gets at the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to get both ends, all four ends of this fish here. I'm going to get it all coated really nice, just like so. Let me go ahead and place it over here. I like it, again, pretty heavy. Uh, and this butter's gonna be nice uh, with it as well. And I'll go ahead and finish these up, and then get ready to go out to the grill. I'm out on the grill, and I've uh, heated up my iron skillet inside the grill to get it warm. There's a little bit of butter in there, uh, olive oil as well. So I'm gonna take the bigger pieces here, yeah, that, and, and just put them in there like that. Since they're larger, I'm gonna let those cook first. And I'll put in the smaller ones, but I'm gonna get that blackened on one side about four minutes, and then I'll go ahead and flip them over. All right, uh, it's been almost four minutes now. I'm ready to flip these. You know, you can see the smoke. You wanna cook this outside. You, you could do it inside, but I bet your smoke alarms will go off. So look at that nice blackened fish in there. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once here. But that, that's beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for on this fish. So I'll let this cook another maybe three minutes because this is on high, hot heat, and it's, it's smelling good and it'll taste delicious. Alright, it's been another four minutes. I'm ready to pull these off and I'm going to stick them on my grill right here just to keep them warm because I have a few more to do. But uh, but that's it, you know. Uh, that's how you blacken fish. It's real simple. The seasoning is great. You, again, you can make your own. but. Uh, do whatever fits for you, but definitely cook this outside. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get the recipe at citygrill.com.